Hi, this is DES2 Unit 5 Auxiliary Views Lecture on View Tools and AutoCAD. The chapter reading covers a variety of view tools and plotting options. The focus of this lecture is on two specific tools that will be important for the creation of special views such as auxiliary and section views. The two view tools I would like to discuss are the view manager and using it to manage or save views as name views and the model viewports which allow the workspace to be divided to show different aspects of a design. The view manager is used to manage and or create named views. A name view can be in a large view or a portion of a drawing. They also can be easily recalled and labeled or renamed for the user's needs. There are three major types of views that can be managed by the view manager, which are model views that capture views in three dimensional space, layout views that capture drawing layout space, and preset views that present the standard orthographic and isometric pictorial views. New Views Part 1 New name views may be created using the View Manager by selecting the New button, which will display the New View slash Shot Properties dialog box where parameter, parameters can be set to define the view name, view type, which can be set for still for static views, or for dynamic display, the cinematic or recorded walk options may be selected. And the boundary of the view can be either captured from the current display or defined by a marquee box selection. For recalling UCS settings, the options can be either to accept the current layer snapshot view or to override the parameters. And background settings may also be selected. Be careful that before accepting the changes, view the preview window display. Now let's go to AutoCAD and see an example of how to create a name view using the view manager. Okay, we're going to explore how to create um, uh, custom views and uh, name views and uh, be able to recall them and uh, this will come in handy when we need to do auxiliary views or section views in AutoCAD. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I want to describe this plane here and to do so I, I want to make a hole in it or something. I want to set up a user coordinate system so it can work um, straight on that face there. So to do so, and then we're going to save that view so that we can return to it. Okay, so I'm currently in, a, in the home position. So I'm going to first uh, create a UCS and um, I'm going to pick this left corner to be the um, origin and select this right corner to be our a positive direction in X and uh, a third point in the top corner. So now we have our X, Y, Z and it's um, facing the auxiliary plane. Now if we want to look straight on at that we can type in the command PLAN plan and go to the current UCS and we are now looking straight in at the part as if we are in an auxiliary view of that face and it's showing the entire part it's not a reduced but uh, we're looking right at this um, auxiliary plane now i want to capture this so that i can later make dr drawing views off of it and so we're going to go to the visualize tab and and once we're on that tab we're going to select the view manager and the view manager, like in the lecture, shows that uh, you have all your preset views and any additional ones. And we're going to create a model view. So we're going to select New. And we're going to call this 
auxiliary view one. Okay, and we'll leave the categories along alone. This is going to be a still uh, fixed um, view type. And we're going to use our current display to define it. So it'll be what we're looking at here. Now we're going to save the layer snapshot with the view, with the UCS, and we'll leave all the visual style and everything the same. Now if we wanted to make sure that it would say separated in a different color, a different layer, you could choose a different layer um, visual style. Background, I'm going to leave it default. And if you were doing rendering, you could set the rendering properties to match. Uh, for this, we don't really care too much. OK, then I'll select OK. And now added to our list is this auxiliary view one. We'll select OK. Now when we um, go back to our, our home tab, uh, we're currently in auxiliary view two. So we can go back to top. We can go back home, but we can always return to auxiliary view one. And now we're back in that view. So you're ready to work on that. All right. So that's my demonstration of creating a view for an auxiliary and a UCS for an auxiliary. Now let's move on to viewports. Model viewports allow the workspace to be divided in, to display different aspects of a design. Viewports in two-dimensional format divide the drawing into compartments for viewing large complex drawings and capturing two-dimensional representations of an object. In three-dimensional model space, viewports are used to view an object from different vantage points simultaneously. And one factor to consider when setting up viewports is that the boundaries can never be overlapped. The viewport configuration command can be selected to view and select from the current list of available configurations, which includes 12 that have been preset in the default configuration of AutoCAD, which may be seen in the image on the right. The name viewport command can be used to manage or create a new viewport configuration when the new viewport tab in the dialog box is selected, the current list of viewports is displayed and allows for the definition of view name and includes options to set up the default setup for two or three dimensions and default visual style for the viewport. Now let's go to AutoCAD and see how viewports can be created and configured. Okay, here we are, we're back, and we're going to see how we can create viewports with the same model we've been working with, with the auxiliary view. I'm going to zoom out just a tad, and currently we just have one viewport. We're going to go to the Visualize tab, and we can go to the Viewport Configuration, and we can select from any of the existing um, configurations that are already there. So if I wanted a two viewport, right and left and then that would allow me to in one active viewport say go back and look at um, auxiliary view one and we could be still looking at the um, home view in the other view and another option is to uh, of course go to more viewports than that so let's pick uh, three on the right and here we go. Now it's reset, uh, let's say it's reset the view based off um, whatever the default view was uh, of the parent view. But you know, here we could, um, in this viewport, we could go to the view of top and then perhaps go in this viewport 
and say we want to look at auxiliary view in that viewport. So this is a handy thing for when you're working on a very complex uh, device or model and you want to you want to see um, different aspects of it independently of each other as you're working. Okay, so that's using the standard viewports. Let's go back to the standard single and let's look at uh, creating a new one. So to do so, we're going to use this uh, named command. And we're going to select on viewports. And all your standard ones are already here. Okay, so I'm going to call this one um, my configuration. But instead of having uh, southeast isometric, I'm going to change it to auxiliary view one. So I'll have a top, front, right, and auxiliary view one. And we're going to display um, that top one in um, hidden line. And the top's going to be wireframe, front wireframe and right wireframe. We'll do 3D setup and then we'll leave all the rest the same. Select OK. And we now have the viewpoint with front, top, right, and our auxiliary view. You can resize the viewports by sliding them back and forth or if you do the same thing and hold down the control key, you can actually uh, add a viewport and subdivide them. If you've decided you've got um, more viewports than you can handle, you can also highlight a dominant viewport and use the join command to join two together, like so. Okay, that's about it. That's a little short on uh, configuring and creating viewports. That ends the AutoCAD portion of this lecture. This concludes this lecture and we'll see you on the next one.